Hi everyone, welcome to VRC with Gaurav. In this video, we will take a look at CAT 2022 second slot and second RC pass. For slot 3, all 4 videos have been uploaded. The first RC passage for slot 2 is also up. I would strongly recommend that if you are a dedicated CAT aspirant, please go through those videos as well as this one. So without any further delay, let's dive into the passage. Okay. So this passage actually as easy and as straightforward as any cat RC can be. Practically impossible to find a passage easier than this. Okay. And in keeping in, in line with the trend established for the past four or five years, one of the slots, at least one of the slots ends up having uh, an RC passage based on some animal sciences. Okay. Some particular animal will be inspected, will be uh, talked about in that passage. Uh, for example, in 2019, we had elephants in 20, uh, sorry, my bad, we had penguins. 2018, we had elephants and so on and so forth. So for CAT 2022, for slot two, we have this passage where we are discussing cephalopods. Okay. So what exactly is given here? Uh, again, no need for glossary in this video. No tough words used. Very easy, very properly lineated passage. So very quickly, let's go through what the information given to us is. Uh, so what you have is a broad class at the top. Mollusca. Okay. So within Mollusca, you have cephalopods. And maybe you have some other uh, groups as well in there. Let's call them X, Y, Z. So a very prominent cephalopod which has been discussed in this passage is octopus and other members which make up mollusks have been given to us in the form of sea snails or sea slugs, etc, etc, whatever. And the passage simply dwells on this factor that they go aapke jo ye cephalopods hai, they are very different in some aspects with respect to the rest of their uh, mollusk cousin. And which are those factors? given to us in the opening two paragraphs. What exactly are these? Let's go through them. That most of these other mollusks, like sea snails, sea slugs and all that, they are all invertebrates with a dorsal foot. Okay. So you just have to imagine what a snail would look like. Okay. It crawls on the floor. The entire base of the body functions like a foot. And they also carry a shell on their bodies. Definitely. But in contrast, what we have cephalopods going on is a very different scenario. Uh, instead of having a dorsal foot, they have only arms. You can imagine an octopus, okay, eight slimy hands going on there. Uh, they also seem to have brains which are unusually large for an invertebrate, okay, brains large for an invertebrate. And then in the second para, author is throwing light on why this is necessary. Because nature has not given them uh, a shell to protect themselves, they don't have that. So that is why they want added protection in the form of a better brain, higher cognition. Okay, Physical protection nahi, lekin dimaag zyada de diya hai kudrat hai. Okay. And then, uh, there is also a threat that almost everything out there grabs and eats this cephalopod, including human beings. And if you're knowledgeable, so yes, in some cultures, especially Chinese and all, they do eat octopus and all that. So, regarding this threats, which are, uh, to which these guys are vulnerable, cephalopods, especially octopus, uh, ki bhai, so, of course, evolution will take care of their survival. So, how do these guys exactly secure themselves? So, author is saying there are four major ways they can do that. And what are those? They are chromatophores, iridophores, papillae, and leucophores. Okay, pretty heavy sounding technical terms, but very easily lineated out before us in the passages before uh, jotted down on the screen. So, what are those? First of all comes the chromatophores, the very first category of protection. Nothing much. The octopus or the cephalopods are using colors to their advantage. They have some sacs inside their bodies, which have these red, yellow and brown pigment granules. So as per the requirement, the brain will signal the muscles to open up. The muscles are radial in nature, meaning that they will be distributed like this. Okay. So it will look like a circle opening up a flower bloom. So what exactly happens is that when the brain sends a signal like this, then the cells open up, the sacs are uh, exposed to the surroundings out there. 
and that will give a sort of camouflage type effect. What is camouflage? Ki you hide in your surroundings on the basis of color. For example, a grasshopper, okay, completely green. If that guy goes and sits on a leaf, very likely you would not be able to spot it easily. Okay, that is called as a camouflage. So why specifically these three colors? The author tells us because at the depth, these guys live in the water. Okay, we should be aware of this fact that light cannot go infinitely deep. Ek 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 depth mein aap jaise jaise niche jaate ho, so light starts losing its power, its strength, and very limited light reaches the depths of the ocean. And at a particular depth, after that, it's going to be complete darkness inside. So at the depth, at the level which these guys leave, so at that stage, red, yellow, or brown color ki light reflector hai. So it's like these guys are very smart. They are reflecting only those lights. They know that these are the colors which are reaching them. Okay. So next comes, what about the other colors, boss? Galti se agar aap upar aage to, then what? So then another thing going on, hologram jo hum dekhte hai, humare books ke front page wagare pe pasted hota hai, ya phir if you have seen a, an oil spill or a petrol spill on the roads, so if you look at it from different angles, it seems like, you know, that oil spill on the road, it will look like as if it's a mini rainbow on the street. Okay. So in the hologram, you look at it from left hand side, you look at it from right hand side, two different objects will be visible. So ye jo aspect hai, ki aap alag -alag jaga se dekho, to aapko alag -alag object dikh hai. that concept is being used by these cephalopods through their iridophores. That's it. So once again, a play of colors going on and the end goal is nothing but to simply hide and save themselves. Lastly, going going a bit off track now, or rather going on a different track. Now comes thought as a physical appearance change. Karna. Okay, if you have seen goosebumps coming on your screen, right? Okay, um, I think the appropriate Hindi usage for that is wrong te khade ho jana, something like that. Okay, so the same concept is being deployed by this octopus or even cuttlefish or even a squid can use that. So it's nothing but they change the texture of their skin, make it very rough. They can even pretend that their skin is somewhat very jagged, very rough, like a stone sort of. And because of that, they can go and hide amongst the different structures out there in the sea, out there in water, and hide in plain sight. For example, coral reef, which we are all aware of what exactly this thing is, very rough surface rock-like structures. But in fact, living beings, so what a cuttlefish can do is, so wo coral reef mein jaake baith jayenge aur khud ka appearance unke jaisa bana de. So you will not be able to differentiate and hence save. So the first chromatophores and the second iridophores, these guys are using the concept of color, concept of camouflage to save themselves. In the third one or regarding the papillae, they are using the concept of changing their appearance with respect to the surface of their skin, not color. And then lastly, the, uh, seems like a pretty recent finding. What's going on is the with the leucophores. Uh, again, once again here, camouflage type effect being used. It's just like a polar bear, which appears white because its fur is reflecting all the light that falls on the guy. Similarly, these guys will also apply the same concept. Jo bhi light body pe gir hai, sab reflect the blue. Why? Because if let us say water appears to be blue at a certain depth, so these guys will also end up looking blue and not quite easily visible. If water appears green, as in the case in some places you must have seen, these guys will also end up appearing. So, once again, leucophores also applying sort of camouflage type effect. That's it. So, out of the four weapons that they have in their hand, what you have is three are dominantly using the concept of color to save themselves. One papillae is changing the physical appearance, especially on the surface level of the skin. End of story. Okay. So very straightforward passage, nothing complex. And actually the questions are also so lame, so straightforward that even if you have a cursory understanding of what has been given in the passage, you can crack the questions very quickly, very easily with a very high accuracy and then rush to the next one. So generally passages and questions like this do come in the area. Out of four, one passage is going to be there, which is really child's play. And in CAT second slot 22, ka, this one I believe was. So the very first question, what does it say? All of the reasons are octopuses being misfit, meaning that they are different from other mollusks out there, except, okay? 
so three reasons are where octopus will differ from other sea snail sea slugs blah 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 ek baat hai jo shayad alag na ho theek hai so exhibit higher intelligence than other molar definitely they have a larger brain that has been given to us okay and why because they don't have a shell covering them so as a compensation they have a larger brain they have higher cognitive capacity so that immediately takes care of a and b because yes these two are the factors where an octopus differs very prominently from other molars from the other molars cousins okay and then also it also has several arms ye bhi clear cut diya hai hamare paas mein that cephalopods are all arms while on the other hand you have sea snail type guys who have a prominent dorsal foot which an octopus does not have it has only arms so yes that takes care of the first question what you have is option c as the answer that octopuses are consumed by humans and other animals sure this is given to us no doubting that but whether humans eat or don't eat sea snails or sea slugs or other molars we are not given that what we have only in the form of concrete information is humans and other animals end up eating octopuses what about other molars do humans avoid them bhai no idea so that is why option c for now has to be the answer because sufficient concrete information is not available that's it okay so with that let's go to the next question if you have any doubt please feel free to drop them in the comment section coming to the second question now very straightforward once again what does it say it says that it can be inferred that camouflaging techniques in an octopus are dissimilar to foam okay once again polar bears ha ji ye clear cut aapko diya hai in this uh, last fourth type of camouflage we have been given that they behave in a similar way a polar bear uses the same concept okay so yes it is similar not the answer cuttle fish very clear cut mentioned in third part when it comes to using papillae so cuttle fish and octopus both are being mentioned so yes same hai squid also mentioned right beside the cuttle fish itself so the same reason why we eliminated cuttle fish same reason for squid bachta hai akhri akela sea snail okay sea snail may be does not need any kind of camouflaging it has a protective shell around its body octopus does not have it that is why it is using the camouflage techniques that's it okay tell me i mean tell me can can it get any easier than this no way at all no way at all okay i am really envious of people who got this passage in the exam must have been such a fun right the entire passage cracked and done and dusted in just 5 minutes coming to a critical reasoning question which is again as lame as it can get uh, if true would weaken what camouflaging ability of cephalopods but except it means that we are going to have three options which will weaken the claims of camouflaging given in passage one option will not weaken to jo weaken nahi karega wo hamara answer hai theek hai to answer clear cut here also again becomes which one option b why because it obsesses about the number of chromatophores and the amount of leucophores and iridophores on the body or inside the body of cephalopods so nowhere is the author in the passage making a claim ki nahi chromatophore zyada hote hai leucophores kam hote hai blah 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 no we are concerned only with the different mechanisms the different weapons these guys have at their disposal number se kya lete hain nothing on the other hand options a c d strongly weaken the claims made in this passage regarding chromatophores why hydrostatic pressure option a let's evaluate hydrostatic pressure jahan pe ye rehte hain cephalopods it renders radial muscle movement very very difficult sure sure it weakens why because this chromatophore wala concept relies on radial muscle ka movement closing and opening type situation so if you are living in a place if you living at a depth where it cannot happen to fir kaise ho payega na camouflage can't happen weakens that is why we are rejecting light reflex colors red green and yellow at the depth with cephalopod reside but on the other hand what do we have this sacs the sacs are reflecting red yellow and brown bhai ye to color sahi nahi rahe green aur yellow to alag hi colors kuch dikh rahe hai yahan pe so definitely again this will weaken 
and not the answer. And option D, very similar, very close. Uh, temperature of water, rete, renders transmission of neural signals difficult. Why neural signals? Because we are given here. These are connected to the brain by a nerve. The muscles which are used for camouflaging, they need signals coming from the brain via nerve. Meaning that neural signals unko chahi. And option D says, watch nahi sakte boss. Baut mushkil hai. Phir kaise hoga kaam? Hai na? So on the basis of it, once again, option B becomes the answer. Okay. I hope that this is clear to you. And with that, let's jump very quickly to the next question. Okay, so in the analysis itself, you can see how quickly we are kicking the dust here with this passage. So you would be very lucky if you end up having a passage like this in the exam. Please don't let passages like this go out of your hand. Okay, and lastly, super lame question. Which of the following is not true about cephalopods ka camouflaging? Edhi? Okay, boss, bring it on. Cephalopods can change their color. This is true. Why? Look at the closing remarks. If water is blue, they will appear blue. If the water is green, they will appear green. Blah, 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 blah. Definitely true, not the answer. Cephalopods can change their texture. Definitely, that is why they have this papillae going on before them. They can grow these miniature towers on the skin, similar to goosebumps that we get. And it matches the texture of the substrate of the surface that they are sitting on. So yes, they can change their texture. This is true and not the answer. Option C, again, very much in line. Cephalopods can blend into color of their surroundings. Aapke jo chromatophores hai, fourth paragraph, or the last paragraph hai, leucophores, yehi to kaam kar rahe hai. They are blending in their surrounding on the basis of camouflage. So, true again, D, nowhere mentioned at all, that they will take the color of their predator. Their predators are not making any kind of presence or entry in the passage at all. Okay? So, with that, very laughable, very easy, super duper solvable RC passage done in record time. Okay. I hope that you have understood the passage. Nonetheless, if you have any extra doubts, please drop them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. If you like our content, please drop a like and a comment and subscribe to our channel. If you would like to inquire about any of our CAD batches, please reach out to me on this mail ID. I'll be getting in touch with you as soon as possible. Till then, bye-bye. See you in the next video. Take care.